Okay, continuation of the previous uh, video. Just to uh, go over, we were talking about parallel circuits, this is called, that we're talking about the fuse rating, we're talking about the switch, we were talking about opens and shorts, and we were talking about also discussing the comments made by some viewers of the textbook that I use, it might be outdated because it's 20, 25 years actually, okay? So let's address those issues. That's what I started with the first video. So I'm continuing on that, on that theory. Okay, and about opens and shorts, and also about fuses, how to go about fuses. Let's go about it uh, a little, each each by itself. So we, we went over opens, we went over shorts, right? Now, the fuse rating, as you see over here. Now, the fuse over here, uh, there's one thing that I always stress in every point, that's the fuse rating, like we said over here, the fuse over here in the previous video, let's say 8 amps over here. This will be 2 amps, 2 amps, 2 amps, 2 amps. Depending on the location, the location of the fuse, you will have different current. That's so important to understand. So in other words, let me reiterate, let me repeat it so because it's such an important point and stress that point. If the fuse is here, it is a total circuit current, 8 amps. If I put a fuse here from here to ground, it'll measure 2 amps. If I put a fuse here, it'll measure 2 amps. This is after the split. Here's the split. Current splits here, and it splits there. If I put the fuse here, it'll be 2 amps. If I put the fuse here, it'll be 6 amps. Again, not to get too technical, but I do want to stress the point of where the location is the fuse but for bulbs the fuse rating will be pretty low for a pcm the fuse rating will be pretty low 10 amps 7 amps those are usually the way it goes why am i stressing this point okay let's bring it to real world situations as i always like to say okay now let me start now a couple of while ago in the beginning, actually, when I started the videos, I started making videos about fuses and fuse panels, and obviously my videos didn't do well. Like, you know you know the channel, the channel is Joe, Electronic Schematics for Auto, and now it's doing a little better, thank God, and I wanted to stress back the points that before I, they were not uh, 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 getting attention and views. As we said before, the fuses are very important, obviously. And let's give a sample of that a situation. Now, let's say you're in Florida in the summertime and, and the fuses, which are here in, in this way, the fuses, which are here. Let's say you, put the air, you tell the driver, put the air conditioning on. It is hot in here, right? Then you tell them, you know what? Put the fan on. Just put on high. It is so hot. I am just burning up. The driver puts on the air conditioning. Then he puts on the switch to the multi uh, speeds. Low speed, medium speed, high speed. Guess what happens? Nothing happens. Your fan motor or the blower motor, as it is called, is not working in Florida at 90 degrees. What's the first thing that you tell your driver? As a passenger, you said, I can't believe that you did not do maintenance and you did not uh, 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 figure out in the middle of summer that you have to take care of your air conditioning and your blower motor is not, is not working at any speed. So the driver or your friend will say, no problem. It's probably it's a fuse. It's probably a blown fuse or something, right? Now, that's good and great, okay? Let's look at the issues. Now... The question that I started from the previous, previous video, okay, is this book outdated, okay? That's a, whenever there's a negative comment or something that people don't understand, I like to address those issues. And it, negative comments don't really bother me. And, you know, if you have one negative comment, you have another, another negative comment, Remember, two negatives make a positive. So I just look at it as two negative comments make a positive comment. That's how I look at it. But you have to learn from those things and try to improve the quality of your videos because you're not coming across 
to the viewer. And as I said before, I want the the reason that I make statements in the form of questions is because I'm going to your head and I'm asking the questions that you're probably asking from me in this video, but you do not ask in the comments. So therefore, I ask them in the form of a question. So what did I just start with? The blower motor, fan motor doesn't start. So what do we do? We're going to go to the fuse panel. Now look at this fuse panel. Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Hasn't changed over the years, has it? Still the same thing, right? What do we do? We have some wires coming in here. All the wires here are underneath this panel. Multi, multi wires that you can't see that are underneath this panel go into this. Maybe 50, 60, 70 wires go into this wired together and go into this and then they go into their systems into air conditioning into pcm wherever all in here okay shielded okay so nothing will be damaged and heated and all that so anyway anyway getting back to our example in florida boy that that blow one is not working i cannot believe in the middle sun's not working right now, if you have a GM, fine. You take the fuse panel, you look at the cover, you say, okay, blow a motor, blah, blah, blah. Let's go for this fuse. That's the one. Let's say you have a Ford. You're in trouble. That fuse cover of the fuse panel will not label what the fuses are for. That's a problem. That's a big problem, right? So let's, let, let's say you're looking for the blow a motor fuse, Right? You're saying to your friend, your friend's saying, well, did you find the fuse? So, well, I'm looking for it, but the, the fuse cover doesn't mention which fuse is for what. How can, how can Ford do this? How stupid is this, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to tell your friend, no problem. I'll just test all the fuses. Remember, there's a fuse panel here by the engine. There's another fuse panel, another fuse panel by the dashboard, by the door. Maybe there's 50, maybe there's 100 fuses. You tell your friend, no problem, I'll just check every single fuse. See which one is blown. There's probably one blown. That's why the, the, fan, blow, the fan motor is not, uh, uh, is not working, right? Is that the correct way to do it or is it an incorrect way? Remember the technique that I showed you and the things that I pointed out. If you've been watching this channel and, again, Give the thinking what the viewer is thinking. Why should I watch this video or your channel? You so far you just told me there's a fuse panel. I knew that. I knew there's fuses and I knew there's ratings. Why should I watch it? Going back to the example, how much is a blower motor current is it gonna take? Remember, you have a problem. You're looking at the fuse cover, you cannot see what these fuses are for. Is this for is this for the for the lights? Is this for the fuel pump? Is this for the ECU? These are the ratings on it sometimes, right? But, right, what do you do? You're going to check every single fuse. Let me check this, check if this is blown, this is blown, right? Down the line. So, that's tedious and that's inconvenient. What are you going to do? Going back to my point. You remember when I always do schematics in the channel, what do I always stress? First thing I always stress when I talk about fuses, the fuse rating. If it's a sensor, it'll be a low rating. If it's a headlamp, it'll be a low rating, 7 amps, 10 amps. If it's a ECU, it'll be a low rating. If it's a motor, a fuel pump, a motor, a pump, it'll be a high rating. What I mean by a high rating? 30 amps, 40 amps. A high rated fuse, a maxi fuse they call it. So, how is this re re related to our problem over here, right? The fan blower doesn't work. How is it related to that? Well, think. A motor with multi-speeds. Your fan, your fan motor does not work. Will it be a low-rating fuse or high-rating fuse? It will be a high-rating fuse, probably 30 amps, maybe 40 amps. Therefore... What type of fuses are you going to be looking for? These are called maxi fuses, right? Now comes what I did a few, uh, maybe a couple, two years ago. These are all color-coded. Have you ever noticed that they're color-coded? Remember, this is outdated. Someone said this is book, textbook is outdated. 
and it's 25 years ago. Well, guess what? Don't you have the same fuse panel with the same color-coded fuses today in 2021? Yes, you do. So, therefore, this is not outdated because the same theory applies today as it did 20 years ago. And I stress that point because this textbook is the foundation of everything in automotive, including mechanical and, and electronic. And I gave you the title of it, and I gave you... And what you understand here is still appropriate and relate and to, uh, till this day. We still have fuses. We still have color-coded fuses. Why am I stressing that point? You're probably asking that question also. What do I care what the colors are? I just care about the rating, right? Well, we have a problem. We have a problem. We don't know which fuse is for what. It's a Ford, okay? But I did give you a hint. If it's a blower motor, it's going to be a high-amp fuse. Which are the high-amp fuse? 30 amps, 40 amps. What about these small mini fuses? This is 15, this is 5, this is... So So what does that tell you? I'm not going to do anything with this. It's not, the problem is not related to this. What about these ones? These are the maxi... These are the big ones, right? Now, why do they have colors? Because each color represents an amp rating of the fuse. If you have a yellow one, maxi fuses... Guess what? That's 20 amps. If you have a light green one, you have what? A 30. If you have a red one, it'll be 50, and it'll say 50 on it. So therefore, even though these are not the actual color, there's still a stripe on it. As you can see, a red one, it would be how much? 50 amps. A yellow one with the yellow stripe over here would be how much? Would be 20 amps. So where am I going to go? Remember, the fuse cover had gave me no information. It's a Ford. So... I right away from the from the I took out all these fuses. This has nothing to do with it. It's if it's if it's a fan uh, blower motor at high speed, 30, 40 amps, not gonna be five amps. So I just got rid of what uh, four whatever uh, 20, 25, uh, 25 fuses to check right away. What about underneath the dashboard? No, those are low rated fuses. Nothing to do with those. What am I left with? One, two, three, four, five. Five fuses to check from 80 fuses. I just cut it down. I just cut it down with no information, no wiring diagram, right? So, again, let's say on this, I could read the fuse. Let's say on these ones where they're color coded, again, I could just read yellow, right? I could just read the 20 amps, is it 30 amps or 30 amps? Well, sometimes they're rubbed off. Sometimes the fuse rating are rubbed off on these fuses. They've been in there for so long. Therefore, I can't tell. So what am I going to look at? Main point here, out of all these videos, after 12 minutes, is the color, the color of the fuse. If I'm, if I'm, my blower motor, my fan, my fan motor is not working, I'm looking for a 30 amp fuse. What color am I going to stress? Tell me, a light green. I'm going to be looking for a light green fuse. If I'm looking for a 30 amp fuse, a 40 amp fuse, a 50 amp fuse, a fuel pump, whatever, a motor, a pump, whatever it is, what am I going to be looking for? A red one. Right? Because that represents 50 amps. So I'm going to be looking for something like this that's a red one. Right away, I cut down my troubleshooting. These are not these are not 50 amps. The one under the dashboard is not 50 amps. But I do see a red one over here. You know what? I'm going to go to this one. When you check it and it's blown, guess what? You just got to this one. No diagram, right? No information on the fuse cover because it's a Ford, right? Or wrong, right? Just by knowing what? this and there was no current rating on the fuse why because it's been in there for so long it's just erased you can't even read. but i did see the color of the fuse that it was red or i did see the color of the fuse that it was yellow that gave me a hint and how did i know that i needed 30 amps because when i looked at the channel joe electronic schematics for auto how you like that for a promo right i saw i remember when he taught me the, always pay attention to the rating of the fuse. If it's a pump, if it's a motor, it'll be a high rating fuse. Sure enough, it's a high rating fuse. We pay attention to these. Don't pay attention to these. It was a it was a long point that I had to get to, but I hope 
that the viewers, their comments, who said, and I appreciate that, and appreciate that. He's being honest. Maybe it is outdated, this book, but you see, in 2021, look at that. We still have fuses which are color code, just like the resistors of years ago, the through hole, that have different bands. Each one was yellow, brown, each one for a different ohm value. Well, there's a reason that they are color coded because they are different one and each one represents a different fuse rating. As you can see over here, 15 is blue, 15 is blue, 10 is red, and yellow is 20. As you can see, there's a reason for it. So if you're ever confused, right, instead of looking, if I'm looking for, let's say I'm looking for a 20 amp fuse, right? These ones over here. What am I gonna be looking what am I gonna be looking at right away? The yellow ones. I'm looking for a 10 amp fuse. Which ones? The red ones. So there is no nothing outdated about this book. Okay, so whatever is here is the foundation. Let me ask the other question that you're probably asking yourself, Joseph. Give me the name of the book, which I did. Automotive technology. Uh, um a system, a system approach, which I showed you from school. Give me the book and I'll read it. Okay, that's probably the question that 90% of the viewers ask. Well, the response for that is, if I want to be a doctor, am I going to take medical books, textbooks, read them and become a doctor? The answer is 100% no. I won't be able to comprehend what I'm reading. The terminology is so technical, I won't understand. So even though if you have the book, you still need a professional and instructor like I did. You still need schooling like I did, and you still need the hands-on. If you want to understand brakes, you want to understand CV joints, you still need the hands-on, even though you have the book. Both of them go together. You cannot have one without the other. And the people who came up and they, and they do not had schooling the mechanic from old school, they they able to do mechanical problems but the electrical i find that is a, it's a little complicated for them you have to learn it now especially today with computerized cars you have to learn it from a professional a professional training professional schooling that's why it's just not enough for me to read a medical book and say you know what i'll be an md in eight years it'll never be like that right you still have to know the systems of the body so is this complex this is why I started the video, and I hope this was informed. If you like the video, please subscribe, please. And the request that I have is, if other countries are watching this, and by other countries I mean like Asia, where the population is, is good, or somewhere, um, India, please try to recommend this, because obviously the more population, the more I have a chance of more views. And... That will really, really help me. So please try to recommend it. Please, if you liked it, leave a like on it. But this is the most important. <clears throat> this is the most important. Getting back to this, to this, to the fuse over here. We started off the video with the headlamps. Oh, this is a fuel pump. There's a starter motor. No fuses, right? If I'm looking for an eight amp fuse, <clears throat> an eight amp fuse, that's a low rating fuse. If I'm looking for a 40 amp fuse, what kind of fuse will be looking for? You'll look for a for a maxi fuse, the big fuses. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope this was informative, and hopefully I'll make another video. So please subscribe and please uh, put a like if you liked it, and if not, please leave negative comments. Those will help me also because then, like I said, I will try to convey the knowledge in a better form. Thank you.